The electric motor has been around since the 1800s, but as of right now, there is a pretty big race to develop high performance motors for electric vehicles. So let's take a look at some of the best and most efficient motors being built right now. Starting at number 5, the Magnomatics motor. I want to start off with something that's a little bit different. So this motor incorporates rings of permanent magnets that rotate. There is no contact between these rings, and an outside field is produced by the stationary windings. This setup has high torque densities so that the motor can drive direct loads instead of using a gearbox. So it's called the Posito Electric Drive, and it could be used for marine propulsion to even wind turbines. We continue on and look at number 4, the Yasa motor. And if you follow electric motors, then you know that Yasa is one of the first companies to build an efficient axial motor. Now the main difference between an axial and a radial motor is that the flux is produced just like their names. So a radial produces flux radially in relation to its rotor, where an axial produces flux actually. So it's a little bit different setup. So what does this all mean? Well, radial motors are commonly used today and are well understood, but axial motors can carry higher power densities and they can be tricky to build. But Yasa has solved many of the manufacturing issues associated with axial motors. Their motors are yokeless and have segmented armature topiology. This allows a capability of 10 kilowatts per kilogram, which is really impressive. And this will ultimately help make electric vehicles lighter and even more efficient. We just need the ultra capacitor to replace the battery. At number three, the Evo axial motor. Avid makes some of the most powerful and efficient axial flux motors. They are yet another company which has overcome the manufacturing issues associated with the axial flux design. Their EVO incorporates permanent magnets with two stators, which allows for a wide speed range. The EVO is liquid cooled by conventional water glycol, so no extra pumps or heat exchangers are needed. Ultimately, the EVO motors are scalable and they can be primarily used for electric vehicles and generators. We finally get to number two and look at the next generation warp drive module. But actually, it's the Festo Supra motor concept. Festo is one of the few companies out there which is working on a holy grail type of motor. This drive makes use of superconductors, which exhibit zero electrical resistance and they can exhibit strong magnetic fields. It is a high torque, low speed motor, which would likely be used for robotics and industrial use. As you probably have already known, superconductors need to be cryogenically cooled, so this concept is challenging maybe even a little bit impractical. But hey, if we ever do make superconductors which can run at high temperatures, it would be a complete revolution to the motor world. We finally get to number one and look at the Magnax Axial Motor. Yes, I am obsessed with the actual design, but this one is one of the most powerful and efficient motors out there. On paper, this design can deliver 15 kilowatts per kilogram. It utilizes 100% of its coil windings, so the end product is a motor which is completely scalable from a few inches to several meters in size. Magnax claims that this motor can run in direct drive and even in parallel with other motors, but they can also be used in anything from electric cars to wind turbines. So there you have it. There's a list of some of the best electric motors out there. And if I missed one, just make sure to let me know in the comment section. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel.